Welcome back, Wind Wakers, to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. I'm Scott, and you're at the Scott Spot channel. We're here at Daybreak, and this is actually uh, Shark Island, Sector C6. Um, this is pretty much going to be the only island we cover in this video. Not that there's a whole lot to do here. It's just that the, the way the videos turned out is like... I had a video... I was going to make this a part of the previous video, but this part is kind of longer than that. So anyway, uh, yeah. So... You can remember there used to be a ring of fire around this grotto. The thing is, I already did this thing that I'm about to show you. Um, I, actually, this is the third time I've recorded this part of the game. And that is because the first time I freaking, the audio cut out for some reason. Like I just stopped recording about halfway through it. The second time I accidentally deleted the video file um, after I had already freaking, um, I deleted the video file after I had already you know, edited this video together. I just hadn't exported it yet, so that ruined that. Um, and then the other thing, yeah. So basically, we're just this. I'm gonna have to show you something I've already done. So forgive me for that. But anyway, in order to get that ring of fire away from out of the grotto, you have to do like a series of switches here. So I think I can still do it. Um, go ahead and equip your iron boots, skull hammer, and I think. I think that's all you really need. So there are four switches on this island, and you have to activate them all in quick succession. Let's see what this uh, stone tablet says. You must activate all four switches on this island, and you must activate them all swiftly. Danger will visit all who have failed to heed my warning. The Seer Southwest SW... Wow, I never really read this before. SW Pochet. You know, I'm not really sure what happens if you don't activate them all in time. Maybe we can figure it out. Let's just see what happens. I don't know if it'll work or not, but... See, let's just activate a couple of them. Now let's wait. It says danger will visit us, but what could possibly go wrong? I like the lighting that's going on right now. It's like everything's all blue, but it's not too dreary. Come on. And it looks like the sun's coming back out. Man, it does give you quite a bit of time to do this, though. It's not that big a deal. Okay. The switch comes back up, and I think this switch is no longer yellow. So nothing happened. I don't know if anything happens before you do this or not. But anyway, so let's do it for real. Step on the switch. Activate the crystal switch. And I'm not saying this is the most optimal way. Use the skull hammer to pound this uh, peg in. And then go over to the island's tail as quickly as you can without falling in the water. And go over to this floor switch, but you have to have the iron boots equipped to activate it. And that creates an updraft. Now you may wonder, what's the point of that? Well, the next thing we want to do is get up to the uh, the head of the island. So in order to do that, let's um, sort of look halfway between these two points and change the wind. This is actually kind of a cool one of the, a, a cool Deku Leaf flight here. Alright, it looks like it's like southeast, I guess. Come on. So that would blow straight here. But to get over to the updraft from here, it's not really a southeast direction. So you kind of have to like finagle your way over here. You're kind of going against the wind a little bit. But then as soon as you get blown up, you can fly all the way over here. And up here, there will be a Blue Choo Choo. Now, I already got it. That one was um, Blue Choo Choo number... Oh, I don't know. Uh, probably like 21 or something. Hold on, I have it pulled up here. Maybe. But anyway, there's... Oh my gosh. But there's also some yellow rupees up there that you can get. But they respawn, so it's not a big deal if you miss them. Like I just did. But then, uh, also when you activate all four of those switches, not only does that updraft appear, but it unlocks the, uh, it gets rid of the ring of fire around this grotto. So with that being said, um, yeah, that was blue chew jelly number 21, and now we're in secret cave number four, number, uh, 14. And also, as you can see, we've already got the treasure chest in here, like I said before. You have to defeat this whole gauntlet of enemies. It's like an onslaught of them. They just keep coming. It takes forever. But it's a cool fight, and it's one of the harder fights in the game. Mostly because of the freaking mini boots. Now, I'm probably speaking too soon, but if, 
Shit. If I make this look easy, it's because I've already done this twice. Well, I was trying to get the rupees. So that's... There's one more, right? Oh, okay, I got three of them now. So, one thing you can do in here... If you, the uh, Bacoblins don't get you, is you can do a hurricane spin attack. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh shit, that Moblin came out of nowhere. And I think he just hit his friend. Now give me your necklace. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, as you can see, the, even the Dart Nuts come out to play here. Shit. Let's see if we can't get a parry uh, attack on this guy. And I think the Dart Nut just hurt his friends. Got rid of his armor, and now we'll get his Knight's Crest. Maybe. There we go. Looks like the Moblins are not really doing much here. Shit. Man, there was a parry attack there, but my slices took care of that for us. Looks like another Moblin has joined the fray. Oh, I just barely dodged uh, that attack. Just keep attacking. Yeah, this goes on for a while. It can get pretty hairy, actually. Luckily, we have the uh, Master Sword now, and that makes things a little easier just because it kills these guys in one hit. And the Moblins and Dark Nuts die quicker. Oh shit! <laughs> that was close. I want to target the Dark Nut. So I can get rid of his armor. And his armor's gone. Shit! <laughs> I don't know who did that, but I think it might have been the Moblin. I don't think the Moblin, or the, the Dark Nut would be very appreciative of that. These are also shield dark nuts, so keep that in mind. And here comes another. They just don't know when to quit. Damn it, you freaking uh, mini blends. I hate the mini blends. Like, they do more damage to me than anything, really. I don't know why I tried to jump attack him. And they're, the whiz rubs have joined the fray. Let's not uh, take any chances on those and try to get rid of them immediately. Except for the freaking... Now where to go? Damn it, I didn't want to target him. That's infuriating. <laughs> Switch to fire arrow. Man, that, I missed him. Okay, okay. Here we go. Goodbye. Yeah, you burst into flame. Have I got this guy's... Uh, oh, I replaced a grappling hook. I kind of need that. You got this guy's joy pendant yet? Nope. Get out of there. Oh, I didn't want to do that, Link. Actually, I just remembered something. I meant, didn't want to destroy that just then, but oh well. What if... Where are the Dark Knight Swords? Here we go. I think that, um... Oh my god. Freaking mini ones. Give me the sword. Not that sword, though. I need... Those mini blends will get out of the way. Get out of here. This is what I need. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I thought for some reason that you could destroy their armor with a Dark Nut Sword, but I guess not. Alright, let's take this one step at a time then. I guess I didn't get a skull necklace from one of them. Now let's get their. Uh... That's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Let's get their uh, skull necklaces. And they haven't got this guy's Knight's Crest yet. Oh man. I should have dodged that, but I didn't. Oh no. Come on, give me your book. This guy's still alive. Oh, that was awesome. I can't believe I won that, though. Alright, I know that's not it. That, that guy's gone. Okay, you give me your joy pendant now. I wonder how many of those I have now. Actually, I might look at my spoils after this. Okay, I didn't want to target that one. Freeze! Oh man, I got him, but he got me too. Let's see what this guy... Oh, he is a, a mid spell casting form there. And here comes three dart nuts. This is kind of like the final test. And they're all shield dart nuts too, I think. Come on. I didn't want to get rid of his armor first. Oh man, that one got me. 
Come on. Oh man. Oh, I can't believe that worked. I got rid of that, that one's head too. Man, that one looks evil with its like red fur and its black beard. All right, maybe I can get. Oh man. I was hoping I could get rid of this one. Come on, buddy. All right, that one's gone. I must have got rid of the armor on one of them. I somehow... Okay, now all our armor's gone. It's over for you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> I say that and he does like a spinning jump attack on me. Get out of there, Link. Okay, got that one. Oh, he freaking picked up a Moblin Spear. That's awesome. Okay, I was going to try to do a hurricane spin attack, but these guys move too fast. <laughs> oh, I was hoping I could get a second hit on him. And I used my fairy. Oh, well. Really, there's no excuse for that, but we'll have to do what we can. And then, once you do that, uh, this treasure chest appears. <laughs> Look at all like the weapons. Looks like a freaking war was waged here. But you know, in a sense, it kind of was. I'm guessing uh, after the Forsaken Fortress was... Well, I guess those enemies always could have been in here, but this must have been one of the places Ganondorf's minions moved to, to hide out. Yeah, I tr try to destroy all these treasure spheres in their green so you get more rupees, because there's really no need for bombs and arrows at this point. And that arrow spawned on top of the uh, platform there. Alright, and then you open this chest and you get... Now it's a, a silver rupee. But yeah, that's it for this island. Wasn't that kind of a fun battle? I wish there were more battles like that in Zelda, just in general. Uh, pretty annoying, actually. Oh, and we got a Tingle Bottle. I guess it wanted to give us one bottle to have before we left. Um, okay, let's see what it says. And by the way, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and follow me on Twitter at the Scott Spot. Magic Armor. Hashtag Magic Armor. Pass it on. Well, I can't really do anything with that, so why would I pass it on? Once again, another disappointing Tingle Bottle. I think, like, little eight-year-olds get on Miiverse all the time and post shit. That's why none of the Miiverse posts are good. But anyway, in the next episode, we'll head to Headstone Island on the distant horizon there. Actually, it's the near horizon. And we'll actually do something plot-related there for once. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, it's part of the island tour, but as long as we're going to be there, we might as well advance the plot, right? Okay. Thanks again, Wind Wakers. I will catch you next time for more The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD at the Scott Spot. Thanks again.